promised land. Why is that the title for your book? You know, when I think about America, I think about uh, both where we've been, where we might be going. Uh, I'm reminded of Dr. King's speech, you know, the famous speech he gave uh, shortly before he got shot about, you know, I, uh, I might not get there with you, but I've been to the mountaintop and I, and I see the promised land. And I think that that idea that we're not where we need to be, mm -hmm. but we still act on the faith and the belief that we can get there. That's how I think about America. That's how I think about, you know. Hey, Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shad Bahashim, Rakak Adash, the honors of the apostles and elders of great most on who rule well. Peace and blessings and salutations to you, since I came out there pushing the truth across the four corners of earth. All right, I'm the brother Shaman of uh, Great Millstone, Chicago. Uh, and as you can see, you know, the the, 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 the the trust is gone, man. The trust is gone. I, I remember when uh, people voted and uh, now they were doing rap songs and you had all the rappers and entertainers, you know, in support. Vote black and he's black. And so you got to vote for him. And uh, I think it's coincidental how... All of these uh, politicians and all these people in power, they wind up trying to quote the scriptures, right? Because they know that the scriptures is uh, a two-edged sword, which basically cuts through anything, all right? That's why, you know, nobody's quoting from Buddhism. Nobody's quoting Hinduism. Nobody's quoting, you know, um, what's, that, what's that false book of, of uh, Islam? Uh, um, oh, the... Uh, well, it's not, it's not even important enough to remember. It's, it's just <laughs> nobody's quoting from Islam or Muhammad. Everybody quotes in the Bible, all right? And the principle of the promised land is talking about the land of Israel, which the scriptures talk about is going to uh, be here on this earth, all right? And uh, for some reason, you know, you can see Obama named his book after that. Hey, because basically these people know that, you know, the ideals and the values of this place are failing, all right? And they want to try to keep people aboard and try to keep hope alive, all right? Now let's jump into the scriptures, man, because this, this shit, you know, it's, it's phony. It's just phony, man. It's completely phony, completely false. Um, so let the scriptures do the talking. All right, and this is Revelation 12 and 9. Excuse me, Revelation 20 and 3. It said, in, um, and matter of fact, sorry, verse 1. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. All right. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. And when did this happen? This happened at the time where Jacob uh, came, you know, back into rulership. All right, around um, you know five hundred, six hundred, you know when when once the uh, the uh, Holy Roman Empire you know began to be established, basically. All right, then that then that thousand year period extent, you know, basically the Dark Ages is what that's talking about. All right, when Jake, the so called Byzantine Empire, where Jake was being set up as kings, and you know we came back into power throughout Europe, West Africa, North Africa. All right, um, you know the the uh, northern kingdom, you know, was over here prospering in uh, Central, North, and South America. All right, and it said, and cast him into the uh, bottomless pit, and shut him up. And 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 what happened after that thousand year period, the Renaissance, all right, which is in what's that the fifteen uh, hundreds, I believe, all right, somewhere around that time. That's the that's the Renaissance. It was called the Renaissance through the Spirit because it was the rebirth. It was Esau coming back into power. All right, and what did they do? They uh, came out, uh, took Jake out of power, started to put us into slavery. Okay, come over here to the New World. What does it say? In 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Yeah, he did. Came over here. All right, sent back many of the Northern Kingdom in chains. All right, they began to. Uh, milk the land, take all the resources, all right, and and, and uh, 
put J you know, Jake worldwide basically was going into slavery. All right, and another thing too, the other nations where Jake was scattered, they saw that the uh the uh basically we were falling and uh Esau was rising up. So they put more hell on us too, seeing, you know, their master Esau do the same thing. I know they wouldn't be punished for it. All right. Because if you have a, a strong people in another land and some of those people come into your land, you know what I'm saying, you, you really don't want those problems like that. So you're going to kind of just, you know, be cool with them. Maybe they can come and trade and, you know, set up shop. And that's what happened. That's how Jacob got scattered, you know, to these other places in the first place. All right? But many of them we know were following other guys. They were following these strange customs. And so... Instead of returning back to their people, which you were supposed to do according to the law, you're supposed to return back to Israel three times a year. You know, they would they would go and they would just leave and just live amongst the other nations. All right, which when you look at any other nation in the world, they might go to another country. You know, you have Chinese who come to America or Ishmael or whoever, but eventually they got to go back home. They got to, you know, check in. They got to do all these things. All right. Just to make sure that they don't, you know, become lost. Uh, that's eventually what's going to happen. The scriptures say, uh, basically, the other nations are going to return to their own lands. Uh, and that's going to happen very shortly because everything that they come here and invest in, it's about to be, it's, it's, it's slipping. You know, the quality is going down. The pricing is going down. All right. The, the, some of the biggest things they invest in, real estate, you know, uh, these different storefronts, gas stations, all these different opportunities for them to make money. All right. But back to the scriptures, verse three, it says, cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. All right. So after the Renaissance, you know, which was about 500 plus a uh, little bit, you know, over 500 years ago, I want to say. Um, basically that's, that's, this is part of his little season. All right. This, all of this stuff, this deception, the lies, the, the campaigns where they've went around the world, you know, talking about other people or threats and, you know, they got weapons of nuclear you know, or uh, weapons of mass destruction and, and you didn't find any, but they got all of them over here. You know, all of that stuff, uh, uh, is part of their little season where they deceive the world. All right. That's one of the reasons why, you know, they uh, have all these different uh, news outlets. OK, so they can be broadcasted all over the world. They might, you know, translate them into another language so the people in other countries can read it. All right. All these things were used to deceive the world and it's still being used. All right. And the president, the office of the president is no different, man. They they serve. They, ha they have marching orders under the people who have the keys to the kingdom. All right, because if you have a you have a nation, right, but you have this one family, they own, you know, 80 percent of the oil. You have another family, they own, uh, you know, 80 percent of the electric. You know, it's, it's like a monopoly game where somebody just they own all of the stuff and, and you know, everything that you land on, you're going to have to end up paying for. All right. That's the same with, with these uh, these Edomites and these Amalekites did, you know. They, they've gone around the world. Uh, that's why uh, part of that blessing that was given to Esau, you know, was that that the dew of the heaven. OK. And and, and uh, was it the. Uh, let, me, let me see. OK. And uh, the fatness of the earth, basically all of the, the things of the earth and, and the different possessions, you know, that are in. And that word that for dew was a tala. It says from uh, Strong's, it says, uh, as covering vegeta vegetation. So let's see, it's going to that talal, to cover with a roof, cover over, roof. <laughs> Primitive root. All right, so basically all the all the, the things on the earth. And this, what that, this is what that blessing was about. All right, this is why Esau wept when that blessing was taken. And that blessing was so special. Uh, because the Lord, they, they Esau and Jacob, they knew that the Lord was dealing with Isaac. Okay, they knew, you know, Isaac and Abraham. They 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 had heard the uh, the stories and they knew, you know, who uh, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. They knew him, you know, 
who he was and the things that he had done. Right? Because it was also, you know, people in the land, they knew who Allah Shajah was. And they knew, you know, especially because he made an example of the Egyptians, which was one of the strongest nations, you know, on this earth. All right, but, um, yeah, basically back to um, Obama and the presidency and these different servants under the elites which have received that blessing. You know, now it's coming out. Well, you can look in the comments. You know, it's coming out that 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 uh, that that lie is being, you know, basically undone. All right, just like it said, MLK also said, "We are coming for our check." All right, because that's what these people have did, man. They set up people, you know, of course, like Obama, the presidency. Hey, they set up Martin Luther King and many of these different people of the uh, so-called uh, civil rights movements. All right, which were then used to uh, legitimize, you know, the different the T L B L B G T all of those different you know acronyms. That's what that's basically what they used it for. All right, it said it's another comment. Yep, in a nutshell, he focused on minority and not black and around about way. That's what she's trying to say, low after Trump. It's hard hearing what he couldn't do. All right, and, and later on in the interview, you know, if you want to sit and, and watch through it, they actually asked Obama for the first time, what did you actually do for black people? Because people would consider him black, right? People would say that's, you know, one of the primary reasons you should vote for him, first black president, all right? And basically, he 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 doesn't he does he can't actually say that he does anything. He can't actually admit to doing anything because he didn't do anything. He didn't do anything specifically for black people. Why? Because we're not his people. All right, we're we're not we're not his people, man. Obama is most likely a Hamite. Okay, so you got all these all these uh, weird racial people. You know, Kamala Harris and Obama and. You know, they might have the same skin tone, but, you know, their spirit is just different, man. It's different. All right, this is Jeremiah. And this is why, man, the Lord gets pissed off, man, because the prophets have been telling you this for years. And people are just now waking up to it. You know, but even some of these people who wake up to it, they're still going to trust in America anyway. This is Jeremiah 44 and... Uh, verse 3, it said, because of their wickedness, which they have committed to provoke me to anger and that they went to burn incense and to serve other gods whom ye, whom they knew not, neither they, ye, nor your fathers. Howbeit I sent unto you, and that shows, this goes to show you that uh, Israel is a people, all right, a specific nation, and it's not just everybody. It said, howbeit I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, Oh, do, do not this abominable thing that I hate. All right? and the, the truth has been prophesied going back since the 60s. All right? You had Jake who kind of had a zeal for righteousness, so they knew many of the things, but then uh, sc certain schools formed, certain groups formed, you know, certain uh, revelations were given. All right? This is all the, uh, the, uh, the course of prophecy. All right? And when they say... Um, Rising early, you know, before destruction, you know, in the in the just like it says in Genesis, in the cool of the day, all right? Because when it's a, right now, it's about to get hot. It's about to get real hot. All right, shit is especially as soon as uh, Trump, you know, announces his his loss. This is about to probably be the the worst years that America has ever seen. You know, more than likely, man. A lot of these Edomites know it too. That's why they're they're finally coming out. And, and telling the truth, even though you know, because they were they were profiting for the longest time. What does the scripture say? He will, he will, he, his servant. He will seek to please the poor. All right. It says, um, "How be it?" Yeah, it says verse five. But they hearken not, nor incline their ear to turn from their wickedness, to burn no incense unto other gods. And if you're trusting in the president of America, the country that brought you here to be a slave, you're burning incense unto other gods. Okay. You're, you're worshiping idols. If you're trusting in any of these uh, these offices, which Esau has put his stamp and seal on, his stamp and seal on, excuse me, but they but the elites are still running it. The elites are still uh, in the background, you know, giving out marching orders. 
guess what? You're worshiping idols. You're following after the ways of these other gods. All right? And these, these people who enforce and allow uh, these uh, wicked rules to come out. You know, hey, Joe Biden, man, he's, he's, he's all into, uh, we saw the one about him with the, the microchip. You know, then, you know, with the LGBT, we know that's about to really get crazy. All right. And then we've seen pictures of him with with uh, with young girls. So, you know, do your research on that. I'm not going to say too much on that, but uh, it says, verse 5, uh, verse 6, Wherefore my fury and mine anger was poured forth and was kindled in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, and they are wasted and desolate as at this day. And even under Obama, black people were getting shot, okay? Black people were out in the streets, all right? Um, shit, the the the, the uh, northern kingdom, so called Latinos, Native Americans, they had uh, they got the their land taken away. All right, Esau was going up into their lands, all right, and and, and uh, you know, trying to take away some of the resources or poisoning them. All right, hey, under Obama, that's where the uh, those camps at, you know, on the border, would separate, you know, the different families. That's when they were established. All right. That's when they were established, man. These, all these different crime bills and this different persecution. This place has to pay, man. And these people sit here. And this is an insult, man. They, the reason he went on the Breakfast Club, he knows that this is an outlet for, you know, because you know, not, not just uh, so-called black people, but see, not a lot of Latino, Native American people, they listen to it too. All right, this is that because DJ Envy, I believe he's Northern Kingdom. All right, and I, Angela Yee, I don't know, she might be a tear, but yeah, man, it's, it's 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 an insult, man. They're doing all of this just to fool you, all right, just to just speak smooth things. That's what Obama did, man. He promised you hope and change, and hope in what? Change in what? What was changed? Shit is still the same. <laughs> it's still the same. All right, and somebody called him. This man selling a book, and that's all exactly. And it's, it's, see, this is beautiful, man. People are starting to wake up. All right, hopefully, hopefully they'll they'll wake up to the truth. All right, because the scriptures talk about people coming, you know, at the at the last minute. It says, um, <laughs> Obama still speaks like he's giving campaign uh, speeches. <laughs> yeah, it says, uh. Audacity to hear that politics cannot save us. That that's it simple. None but ourselves can free us. Now we can't free us, or we would have did it a long time ago. I right, only only a higher power, I right, can free us and save us, man. The scriptures say what? The Lord's ways are higher than our ways. All right, the different things that are going on in the background and different things, these spiritual forces which are being gathered up, you know. <laughs> This place is about to be destroyed, man, pursuant to the scriptures. All right, that's the that's the only hope you have, man, is if the is if the scripture was is, is that the scriptures is true. Let me say it like that. Because the scripture everything in the scriptures is true. And it's been proven. All right, that's the only hope you have. Is is for, is, is the mercy of the Lord. All right, that's that's it. None of these people can save you. It doesn't matter how smooth they talk or what promises they make. At the end of the day, you're gonna see that they're lying. All right, and that's the case with Obama. Obama didn't do anything. And, you, and these people still haven't figured that out. Four years later, you haven't figured that out. All right? It said, um, Yeah, Native Americans being driven from the land. This is the man that let them build the Keepstone Pipeline. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. I think that was in uh, Minnesota. All right, so, yeah, people are seeing, man. Yeah, your actions ain't matching your words. <laughs> it said, um... America owes every black person $20 million. You're not going to get $20 million. I just this this is the comic board man. This is always the best part because you got people. It's, you might have people in the know who know what's going on, but then you got a lot of people who they they just don't know. They just don't get it. 
All right, and the scriptures say what? They they don't even consider. All right, so hey, may you know, may the Lord continue to bless you know the gospel that's being pushed. All right, because a lot of people are seeing, a lot of people are waking up to the things that the Lord wrote. You know that we're speaking about. That's the truth. A lot of people are are, are waking up. You know to to the, the the falsehoods, man, the lies that they've been told. All right, you're not you're not gonna get any reparations. They're not going to get a promised land under this man. There's nothing that they can promise you, all right? And why is he still quoting the Bible when Obama was, was a big proponent of LGBT? It tells you what should be done with those people according to the scriptures. All right, it tells you that. All right? and, and why, with all these presidents, they want everybody to be one people? Before, you know, back in the day, when, when these different Edomites... Uh, when these uh, old school Edomites who, you know, they could be open uh, white Edomite supremacists, you know, when they were president, they would just, they would specifically tell you, like, look, I'm, I'm here for my people. I'm not here for any other else, other people, you know, we'll deal with you accordingly. And that was that. Right? But now that, you know, these people kind of, uh, they, they want your vote to try to get in office. They want, you know, the perception to be that uh, they're, they're, um, being liked by all these different other nations, all right, so they can stay in rulership, then of course they're gonna they're gonna lie and they're gonna speak sweet things to you, all right? But just like the scriptures say, man, our people said, speak to us sweet things. All right. Don't don't give us the bitter. Hey, but the bitter, that's a that's a part of it, man. Even in your diet, you know, if you only eat sweet, which that's what Jake likes to eat, man. They only like to eat the sweet things. All right, but you got to have the bitters. You got to have the garlic, you know, the ginger, you know, all the different things, man. Hey, so, you know, with that being said, all praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Rukagadash. Uh, it said, um, yeah, there was a reason. Yeah, what a waste of time. Not the rising tide lifts all boat types of rhetoric, but we we all know black people's boats got a hold of it. <laughs> all right, hey, uh, a Bob a ball call all your how about you? Man, shy. Hey, you can see, man, they that's that's scrambling, man. That's scrambling. That's scrambling. All right, they can see that this place. It, it, the scriptures say what they believe that their house will go on forever, but then then it also tells you. Um, Basically, that they can see that uh, that that, that uh, everything when oh when uh, the enemy shall come down as a as a as a as a flood, you know, seeing that they have but a short time. All right, and that's where they're at, man. They see that they have but a short time, and these are all pushes, you know, for them to try to save face and for people to still invest in the system. All right, invest in your how about you, man? I was shot, man. Ultimately, invest in yourself. Shit, call a lawyer. How about Shimmy? I was shot by Shimmy Kragadash, a Baba Ball, Shalom.